Are you switching to signal messaging app? Let me share a few things that you should keep in mind while you are migrating to signal. Hello all, I am Nikhil from iGeeks blog and in this video, I'll talk about the few essential things that you should keep in mind while you are switching to the new signal messaging app from the WhatsApp. But before I share them all, I would like to request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Now, if you have done that, let's talk about the essential stuff. The first thing first is to invite your friends to this new messaging app which is getting popular these days. You can invite individuals via message or mail. Just tap on your preference and it's done. Signal offers light and the dark theme, so don't miss to set it up once you switch to this app. Okay, let's talk about the privacy and for this reason, this app is getting more and more popular. So according to Signal, this app only access contact info and not even contact names. All the details like your name, profile picture, your chats and a lot more will be end-to-end -end encrypted and cannot be read or stored on a Signal server. And for all this, we will not have to require make any changes to the app. But there are a few that you should keep in mind and the first one in the privacy section is read receipts. Just like WhatsApp, now one can enable or disable read receipts. And just right below this setting, you will see an option to enable or disable typing indicator. Simply toggle this off and a recipient will not see and share when messages are being typed. This is amazing, right? And WhatsApp is lacking of this feature. Okay, next is to create a blocked contact list. You may have blocked one or more contacts on a WhatsApp, but once you switch to this new messaging app, the door will be open for those creepy messages. So in my opinion, do not think too much and just add them over here in the block list. The next is enabling relay calls. But I guess you should skip this as this will also reduce the call quality and you know what, we hate interruptions and poor call quality. But next is the feature that you should not skip and that is to hide recent calls in your phone app which are dialed from a signal app. Simply toggle this off and it's done. Now one cannot see your complete call history but hey, one can just open up the signal app and can view it, right? Nah, Signal has a solution for that too just like WhatsApp and that is setting up a screen lock. Set up a screen lock with the help of Touch ID or a Face ID and with the passcode of your iPhone. So even if your phone is unlocked, you will require to authenticate to open the app. Now feel free to hand your phone over to someone for any reason, they wouldn't be able to see your messages and call history. Secured. <laughs> the next one is a very unique feature and that I have not seen before in any messaging app and that is to hide the last visited screen of an app in the app switcher. Enabling this feature will prevent to show the screen and will display the startup screen of the app. Oof, we have seen a lot but hey, a few more to go that will definitely change the way you use any messaging application. And the next one I like to talk about is to ignore messages from unknown people. Toggling this feature off will block the messages from people who are not on your contact list. Hey, this is amazing and I want to have this feature in iMessage. I hope Apple will bring it soon but now we are talking about the Signal app and it has one more unique feature to offer in the notification section and that is count muted chats. Hmm. Do you remember those chats? Actually those group chats or had chats from your ex that you have muted for a while to stay focused on a Tinder or watching videos of iGeeks blog. In the Signal app, you can add or remove such muted chat counts on an app badge so you can stay informed and more focused on the stuff you are doing. Okay, next up is disappearing messages. WhatsApp recently added this feature but Signal had this feature for a long time. What is this feature actually does is adding a limit to the message to be seen by the recipient and once the recipient views the messages, it will be disappear after a decided time. The next thing is tricky and interesting too and that is migrating your WhatsApp groups to Signal app. See, I told you this is interesting and you might be looking for the solution. So let me show you how. One can easily migrate his or her group chats to the Signal app by just creating a new group. 
select the contacts that you want to add to this group or you can just skip this lengthy process add group name and pick a nice group photo and it's done now tap on a group name and it will open up a few new settings from here select the group link toggle on the switch to create the group link now share this link in your whatsapp group and ask members to join this new group on signal app also take a look at this next option you can approve the members request by simply toggling on this and can throw out those inactive people from this new group this is like signal is not only helping us for privacy but also allowing us to clean that shit hmm. so i have just talked about the few essential things that you should keep in mind while switching and setting up the new signal app but you should also keep some points in mind like the cone of signal app and that is you cannot take chat backups to any cloud services like google drive or icloud or other just in a case if you wish to switch to the new device then you will require your old device to transfer signal app data so all in all if you lost your phone or clear the data on your phone or change your number then chats cannot be restored and this is a scary side of this app when we want to have the privacy in focus while using any messaging application okay the last thing to support this app is to donate as signal has no business model and we can always support them by donating a few bucks to offer such amazing feature and privacy and we have reached to the end of this video nah not really a few things are still left and those are to support me and igix blog i hope you found this video helpful and can be helpful for your contacts so do share this video with them and also like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel i'm nikhil signing off thanks for watching stay safe stay connected